Hello, how's it going? In this video, I will show you how to save custom colors for your printed circuit board. All right, we have an example PCB open here. And let's say you want your colors to look like a different scheme you're used to. And you don't want the screen here. So let's go to the color wheel. You can go to setup colors in ORCAD professional. You might need to go to display colors if you're using ORCAD layout or Allegro. So let's go to setup colors. Look at our custom colors here. I like my DRCs to be a different color from everything else. So maybe like a yellow for all my DRC, you click on there. And then for the top copper, uh, maybe something like red, right? Oh, and I did the DRC. I activated the DRC by mistake. And for the bottom layer, copper, I'll choose blue or something like that. Okay, now I have my color settings that I want. I'll change my DRC back to yellow, right? Click apply. Then it's right here. You can go to save. You save color palette and then give it a name. You know, red, top, blue, bottom, something like that. And then save it wherever you want to. So, right, so you save it here in this colors. And you can also save color parameters, which gets into visibility, nets, display, all these settings, how opaque or transparent you want things to be. It's very nice. All right, click apply, then OK. You can also include colors in your settings export. So go to export. Then under more, you can choose color board parameters. You can choose the design setting, color layer, color palette, color profile. And if you want to learn more about the differences between these, you just go to the help section and it just pulls up the help you need in context. Right. It takes a while to show up, but here it is, right? Artwork, color layer, it explains everything. So make use of the help files for sure. And then you would, you know, select all you want to select, give it a name, colors, all or something like that. Application or command parameters, you know, it's very nice. Save it in some file, export, and you're good to go, right? And then if you're not sure what happened, you can choose view log param file. You find the folder that it was exported to. Very nice. And then the last way is to go to display view, color view, save. You can do a complete or partial, partial with toggle, preserve the zoom level that you're at. You can preserve the flip state. So if I go at this zoom level or that, you can save as many views as you want. You can call this view one for your PCB. Make sure to intentionally save where you want the file to be you know, and then you hit save. So let's do view one, save, and then save. Make sure that says save view one, right? Then if you want to load a color profile, you go to your, uh, you go to your color setup. So go to setup colors, then load color palette, load color view, or you can load the default color palette or something like that. So yeah, play around with it, see what works for you. But that's how you create your custom color profiles and files. Thanks for watching.